A little $125 HHO machine is done. It's basically just an HHO acrylic welder uh, for not really a welder. It's like for smoothing out acrylic. It's a welder that is real low power. So <laughs> there's my little cat over here. It's done, and this only thing I did to it was add a mason jar. It's a plastic one, not a glass one. See, and. It's not that strong of a mason jar. It's one thing that's wrong with it. You got to get the silicone gasket for it to seal it up. I bought some more quarter inch outside diameter, eighth inch di inside diameter hose, it's just plastic silicone hose on Amazon or something. So you can use more hose for extending this to put the bubbler in a bathtub or something. Let me just turn it on real quick here. Um, you see the, here goes the production. You see that? See the bubbles in there? I personally like this big one a lot better. This, this is uh, for ozone machines and aquariums, but it doesn't have any restriction to it. Some of the, that one there, that's for like a brewery carbonation. It's a finer filter or bubble maker, or whatever you want to call that. It actually puts some restriction and it doesn't do as many bubbles, so I like the big one better. Um, it's called. I know it says it's for an aquarium tank, but it's not really. It's uh, it's for both. It's for it's for they sell them with the ozone machines, air airstone, made in China. But it's they sell these with this one actually is for the ozone machines too. So I got this filled with distilled water up to about here. You can see I got the distilled water in there. I just drilled a quarter inch hole in the top here, and this is called shoe goo. You know you could buy it anywhere. It's like for repairing shoes. Um, then I drilled a 3 8 hole, and uh, this was a little fitting I got on eBay that um, it's got an eighth inch barb, so you can plug that in, or you can plug in, I actually had to cut off the end of the candle, you can leave a little, little bit on there, because it's a little bit too big, and you just push the hose on there, and you got the nose breather right here. Um, this, I made the hold, this is some just paracord, you can see this. It slides in and out. You tighten it up so you can keep it uh, nice and secure on there. It actually holds this in there pretty good. It's got a carry handle. I made that. Some um, a couple zip ties and a little uh, what do you call that? Uh, gorilla tape. You can pick it up real easy. <laughs> um, since I'm not really using, you know, I guess if you use two bubblers that size, you'd be pretty better off. This one's a little smaller. I'm going to change out, the, I'll change out the water every 5 to 7 hours, instead of like 10, 15 hours in the bubbler scrubbers. That's designed to take the impurities out of the lye. And you've also got to watch the level here, which you can see it's full. I'm going to, I'm going to probably lower this production a little bit more, because this isn't the safest thing in the world to do, because, um, you know, I don't think any of them are really 100% safe, because it's an explosive gas, for one thing. But as soon as it gets about here, you can put a match here. You got to put it right, right on a bubble to blow it up, you know, to make it blow up. If you want to breathe the gas without doing a cannula, you can put your nose like right about here. That would make it infinitely more safer, just because as soon as it gets about an inch away from there, a lot of the gas dissipates. You'd be getting a lower level. It's kind of a guesstimate, but that's a much safer way of breathing the gas while you're making the water. Be inconvenient, but even if you breathe it for five minutes. Uh, you know, that makes a difference. I have noticed a difference. Um, I had this thing. I'm going to tell you this. For one, I got this. Is, I'm going to tell you, this is the outline why I did this. What got me into this. I knew about this HHO and the hydrogen stuff for a long time. But there's so many different things. There's magnesium. There's iodine. There's vitamin D. There's vitamin C. There's all these, you know, electronic gadgets and stuff. Like the Paris Apparel, I'm totally convinced on that. I use it every day for eight hours. I also figured out from looking at George Wiseman's videos every every single one three hours, you know some of the you know three times some of them would go for an hour and a half, and you know I was actually watching them while it was taking an HHO bath, <laughs> you know with the bubbler going. I figured I'll, I'll do that for a couple hours and watch a video or two, and this way I, I get them all in. I watched them like three times. One thing that really convinced me with him too is that he's religiously using his machine several hours a day, probably more than eight hours a day. The most I ever did was freaking three hours in a day. Yesterday I did a total combined two hours. I didn't do anything yet today. I just drank some of the water. But 
I, I use that timer. If I do five minutes here, 20 minutes there, take something to read, whatever. Because I'm convinced he's I'm convinced that he's convinced this is works. Now what happened to me personally? I tried instead of going with this initially, I just got a hydrogen water bottle. Like the kind the, the little ones that you put the water in, close the lid, you press it, and it makes hydrogen in the water on Amazon for like 75 bucks, 65 bucks, whatever it was. And I figured I'll start drinking that. I didn't notice much, but then I noticed a little more energy. Now, there's one thing I got. I must have done this like three or four years ago when I was shaving. On my upper lip, there was like a little dot. It was a little cut. And then it turned into a bump. And then the bump gets bigger and bigger. And if you try to cut it off, there's like blood vessels in there. It bleeds, right? So it's not like just the skin. What I did was I took the mouth. Like it's not this bottle. It was the hydrogen bottle. You know, and I put the mouth of it over when I was running it with the water in it, and I put the mouth of it over like my mouth in the upper part of my lip. And I ran it like that three minutes at a time, several times during the day. And you know what? That bump that was there, that growth, whatever it was, it flaked off after a few weeks, most of it. So I says, I think this thing really works. So I got this. Oh, well, I made that other thing first, but then I got this. This is the one that's actually for automotive, but it works. It works fine, too, you know. It's a dry cell plate from Liberty. I don't know if I'm going to... I might put that in the El Camino. I don't know. But this thing, I'm using this thing. It's really easy to use. Um, now, since I started using this, I noticed if I stay up really, really late at night, that I would sleep in, right? I'm not doing that when I'm, since I've been doing this. I should be, you know, I've already been up this morning doing all kinds of stuff. And usually if I got up and not had enough sleep, I would be like dragging right about this time. I got more energy, even better energy. More like, kind of like 30 years ago energy or something. It's weird. And um, that bump on my lip that mostly went away, it's like virtually totally gone. There was another piece that, like it was on my upper lip. It was like from a, it was like a little shaving dot. A cut and then it turned into a growth and then the growth got a little bit bigger and bigger and bigger it looked like a little I don't know a little dot it wasn't that noticeable you wouldn't even see it if you're looking at any of my videos with my face you wouldn't even notice it there but it was like sticking out probably more than an eighth inch easy not a quarter inch maybe three sixteenths of an inch and then most of that cracked off from just using a hydrogen water bottle with me putting the mouth of the bottle over my lip too when I was running the hydrogen water bottle just that little bit doing that you know, two or three times a day, maybe not every day, for a few minutes at a shot, right? That's what got me convinced about using this. Now, the rest of that went away, right? Almost, It's almost completely healed up. The other thing I was talking about on my right toe, on my foot, <laughs> you know, it's a, it's like this thing. Um, there's, you know, I'm not showing a toe or nothing. It's, it's just like, I don't want it to start bothering me, but I know it was definitely bothering me in 2007. That's why I was running less. And I was, uh, wasn't walking as much because after I walked a few miles, that the end of the toe would bother me. It was like a big callus on there, and it was sore underneath that. And if you put, like, coconut oil on it or carbon C60 olive oil, it seems to help a little bit, but not much. And I tried, like, the Epsom salts, and what, I tried all this garbage baking soda. That seems to help a little bit. Well, you know, when I started taking the uh, HHO baths, First, I didn't. I thought it felt a little bit better, but now I know it's definitely better. It's not hundred percent. If I press on the end of the tip of the toe like this right here, like right on the very end, it's still sore. But when I'm walking, I don't feel nothing. I says, "Whoa, that's great." So there's a there's an improvement that wasn't there in years. And I think it's from this. So I just started doing this two and a half weeks ago. So. And I, I have not been able to get, the most I ever did in a day was three hours. Sometimes I'm doing 45 minutes or an hour. It's freaking difficult to find the time to do all this stuff. Because I'm trying to post videos for you guys. And, I don't know, maybe my channel's going to get deleted. Um, I'm going to re-request monetization on January 18th. But I guarantee you, the reason they said my channel is not monetized, they want me to delete more videos. I was like, get out of here. It's because of that Confederate flag. I'm like, ADL? You, you guys are judging me 
uh, it's something you have no clue about, or you're just, you just, you know what it may be? They're just absolute control freaks. They know that the South were the main people that fought in the, Ameri for the, in the American army against the Nazis, which stopped the rest of the Holocaust from happening. They know this. But the other part of this flag is it's not it's against central control. And obviously the ADL is all for central control and controlling us. So if when I re-request monetization again, they might delete my whole channel. I don't know. They could. The jerks, man. I don't know what they you know, but I don't really care because uh, these videos take time and I'm doing it for nothing and actually everything I did on YouTube, even when I got paid, if I was investing my money, my time into accounting it would be, I'd be getting exponentially more out of it. There's no doubt about that, man. So, you know, I don't know. There's some things I got out of this, but then again, you know, I would probably would have got out, got it, figured it out anyway because when I used to work out at the gym, I'd take accounting work with me for the three hours I'd work out, and I'd maybe do that for an hour, maybe a little more than an hour. Then I'd look stuff up on the Internet. So I still could have probably figured out a lot of the stuff I learned what as being a YouTuber, but you know. Anyway, so this is my setup. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to find out. You know, I'm gonna try to get this where maybe it runs. It starts out at like a two or three amps, and maybe goes up to like less than half this level, and that would lower the production enough. That for my size, you know, adult male, that, you know, even if I'm breathing it, it should be mixed with enough air that it should be low enough. And as long as it works, I don't give, you know, because you don't need that high of a level of this to make it work. It doesn't have to be, because they say the explosive cutoff is 4.7% hydrogen, so keep it below 4%, but 2%, half that level, still works. So if this thing could put out, you know, 75 liters an hour, theoretically, that's what they say, uh, which is, you know, one and a quarter liters a minute, right? I, I don't even think it, this thing's probably running, it might be running a hair more than half a liter a minute. So I'm in an unsafe territory for breathing. But, you know, if you get it down to, you know, a quarter of a liter a minute, I mean, for most people, except for like children or something, any adult, even if it's a woman or something that, that has a smaller lung size, you're probably going to be okay. You know, the thing is that none of this stuff is actually 100% safe. And I also want to say this, you know, I was looking at the products. I looked at Delvis 11 on YouTube, and he's got Hydrogen for Healthy. I think he makes a really good product, too. I mean, you know, George Weiser makes a good product, and there's a number of products. There's Japanese companies making hydrogen machines and stuff. Um, but I looked at, in 2017, I saw what the machine that he had hydrogen for health, what he was producing back then. The stuff he's producing today is vastly improved, which made me think, and what I was saying before, in another year or two, there's going to be machines out there for less money that are going to be even more improved because there's going to be so many competitors jumping into this thing. So I'm doing this for now. I don't know if you, sh you should do this. I mean, if you're, if you're going to just bubble the water... Use it for local treatment and use it for bubbling the bath water. And if you breathe it from just a, the top over here without using a cannula, it, it should be pretty safe even with this setup. I mean, just as safe as pretty much anything else out there. So, you know, it's not perfect, but what can I tell you? But that's it's a cheap way to get by. If you use some common sense and, you know, exercise due course, you need to be okay.